I'm not giving all praises on Tia Bashima Shabashim Kohakorash. The bonus on three apostles, a great millstone. And the ownership officer will be pushing this truth in sincerity for the four corners of the earth. And above everybody are coming out here to give you the truth with the grace and mercy of Yahweh. Bashim El Shai. Bashim Kohakorash. Giving all praises on Tia Bashima Shabashim Kohakorash. Okay, so this is going to be a relatively quick video based upon, you know, these are uh, two individuals that we see here who are, <coughs> who are being pushed heavily within the media as the, um, the potential saviors for um the edomite empire that you know as uh, america or uh, empire country whatever you want to call it and we've seen multiple times these two individuals get pushed heavy as the anti-establishment anti anti um globalists okay they're supposed to be these great revolutionaries representing the the um old school <coughs> old school edomite okay the reality of the situation is this is what you know as the Hegelian dialectics, okay? This is what we know as Hegelian dialectics, where the Red my Iso he presents you with two seemingly opposing ideas that ultimately converge into a the idea that he really wants to push, which is ultimately that we understand is the enterprise of the wicked, the new world to the order, excuse me. Right? So, you know, they've had the psyops play out and now they're going back to the to the site of the psyops. And um, you know, many are gonna be fooled by these particular things, which you know is irrelevant whether you believe it or not. It's whether it's 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 it sells um it sells a story. These are elites already know who they're gonna put into power, and they already know what they're gonna do when that particular person is chosen and has been put into a position of power, that being Kamala or Trump. Okay? And what do we understand? We understand that America is nose diving into poverty. Okay? Babylon, which is America according to the scriptures, and we've understood this a, a multiple times that Babylon, according to the scriptures, which is America, is indeed America, is nose diving into a position of poverty and into the time that's known as the time of Jacob's trouble. And ultimately, these guys that portray themselves as the heroes he, heroes and um that portray themselves as the um as the uh, saviors of uh, America, if you will, or saviors of um, of uh, from oppression of the so-called globalists, which really they're tied in with the globalists. They're just playing their part within that particular story because most of these guys are just actors, right? A guy like Elon Musk, people actually think that he's think he, he he sits down and thinks of ways to liberate the people. This guy, this guy is just the face of a company that pushes a particular agenda throughout the four corners of the earth that's consistent. With the enterprise of the wicked that's spoken about within the scriptures, namely, right, uh, reducing the seed to the altar to within the earth. Okay, um, those those particular agendas we understand that's that's consistent with what we're getting out there from from um, the so-called world economic forums. Okay, and these are these are agendas that are being pushed within the world within the earth for really, all right, people people reduction. Okay, people reduction. Now you use whatever word you want to use to replace that particular statement that I've made, and you will understand what I'm speaking about right now. Which, which is a, which is a, a um, which is uh dealing with the the NWO, right? So, you know, if you're simple minded, you're gonna see this guy, and you're gonna think, oh yeah, man, he's gonna he's gonna deliver Babylon, right? But we're gonna see a scripture here. Okay, we're gonna keep it nice, nice and simple today. But we're gonna see a scripture here. Let's go to the scriptures here. And we're gonna put healed here. And we're gonna put Babylon. Babylon, okay, which is America. So this is the book of Jeremiah, the first chapter and the eighth verse, right? And this is this is a good scripture, really. Except from the seventh verse, Babylon has been a golden cup within the Lord's hand. So America has been used to push filthy, filthy ideas and ideologies throughout the four corners of the earth, okay? Namely, um, idolatry, adultery, um, spiritual fornication, whatever you want to call it. Babylon, America has pushed it. You see it within their mainstream media. You see it within their television. You see it within their music, right? The more size use America as the instrument of pushing, <clears throat> of pushing degeneracy, which which just means to degenerate. So the more size created man, but it repenteth the heavenly Father Yahweh Shemashai that He made man because man has degenerated. He's become a beast. Okay, man's become a beast. And what does a beast do? A, a beast lives by no order. There's no order on the earth anymore. If you look at it, there's no order on the earth anymore. It's a bunch of people doing all, a whole bunch of things, man. There's no order on the earth anymore. No order, right? And he repented the most side that he made man. 
Right, so continuing here with this with this particular scripture. Scripture says Babylon has been a golden cup put in the Lord's hand and he's made all the earth drunken, the nations drunken, therefore the nations are mad. But check this out. Hey, Babylon is suddenly falling. Partly, you know, because the elites have designed America to be destroyed via the um, fractional reserve banking, via many other uh, different uh, pathways by which America is going to be destroyed. But ultimately, we understand it's the Mosai working through who? Through Esau. So Esau has designed a system where he's going to he's going to destroy himself, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. But that's how the Mosai fated it to be so. Now, check this out. Look at this scripture, the ninth verse, which is the point of this video. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her, let us everyone go into his own country, for our judgment reacheth unto the heavens. So these, these individuals that you see here, they push themselves as the healers of uh, Babylon, right? That they're going to heal America. Remember what, what the mantra of uh, Trump last time was, make America get great again. But America is not going to be great again. America has been the instrument of degeneracy, like we mentioned a second ago, throughout the four corners of the earth. And the Mosai is setting her up for a fault. And she ain't going to re recover again. That's how they that's how they designed it. They've designed it to where it's not going to recover again. And ultimately, like the scripture says within the book of Job, you're going to have a situation where people are going to realize, like, look, it wasn't, well, the elites are going to realize it wasn't them that was controlling the fall of Babylon. It was the Mosai all along. Now, that's going to be a beautiful day when they, when, when the scripture is fulfilled, where with the scripture says, uh -uh, the wicked is taken up in his own trap. So they set up a trap out there throughout the four corners of the earth to the end that that they might be, um, they set up a trap to the end that they might be be uh, delivering the, the world into a, a, you know, a recession, a global crisis, and therefore the, the CHIP being pushed out there throughout the four corners of the earth. But the scripture talks about how that when he's about to fill his belly, that's when the Most High was going to cast his wrath upon him. So Esau, when he's about to enjoy the so-called fruits of his labor and setting up the enterprise, he's going to realize it's really it was the Most High's enterprise. That's what Esau the Redi Edomite is going to realize. It was really the Most High's enterprise. It was really the Most High's work. It was really the Most High's chip. And it was really the Most High that put it within their spirit to destroy their own kingdom to the end that when this kingdom is going to be destroyed, right, the glory is going to go to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Bashim, That's how That's how heavy this thing goes. Right? The Most High's got such power that he could put it within the man's spirit to destroy his own kingdom and make him think that he's doing it, to, to, he's doing it by his own will. But that's not what's happening. The Most High is doing it. Right? So, that's the video. Hopefully, it's of edification. With that, I'm going to say, Oh, praise on Pia Basim, Asha Basim, Kwa Hakodash, Dabon, and Santiri Apostles, Great Millstone, and the ownership of the people pushing this truth in sincerity.